Moving on to step 12a, there's a little confusion here. So you need to first make sure that you don't read ahead and go from step to step at this point. Otherwise, you're going to create a world of nightmares and you're going to take two steps forward and like six steps backwards. Um, this particular part starts out showing you that you need to place your two panels together at the truss. Do not confuse this center support here for a truss. The truss on a 1012 is only one part and that's the actual truss itself. So this particular image is to attach to this side of the truss if you do option A which is the door on the left side. If you do option B, door on the right side, then this would be over there where the door is at currently in my particular setup. So also make sure that you lead the screws to the outside of the panel on option A, open, or option B, open, whichever case that may be, because later you're gonna have to attach another panel into here and that panel actually, will come out here and show you. <clears throat> this panel goes to the outside here, so that, that's got to screw into here. So make sure that you leave this open uh, as the instructions call for. And then also make sure that you pay attention to where the screw layouts are or the screw holes in these pictures are because, uh, let me show you what I mean. These pictures show two holes plus a third that's left open at the outside edges. And the reason for that is another panel that goes to the outside corners as well once you get to that section. Don't be confused by these pages that say 1215 only. Skip those pages or you're going to mess yourself up horribly. Um, again, one step at a time, one page at a time until you get everything in place, corners, uh, threshold parts, all of that stuff. Also, make sure you pay attention to these small pieces in the middle. Um, they have them all wrapped out here, and this will fit over here as, uh, as I did. Uh, you can't tell, but this is a small piece and then the rest are big pieces because I didn't pay attention to the picture. Again, you have a corner piece that goes in to the outside. So don't be alarmed by the space. It gets covered up eventually, but make sure that you leave those screws open. And last but not least, skip again to... Don't, I'm sorry, don't skip again to the rear until you're ready to do the rear and make sure that you're following the panel steps. You want to make sure that there's a small piece in the middle between the big pieces, etc., etc., or you're going to have to take things apart like I did and do them over. Um, corner pieces are pretty self explanatory. Getting to the roof layout. This is the roof layout. My recommendation, and this is what I'm currently working on, is put up one side at a time so that you can reach your panels as you're securing them one panel at a time.